Hey everybody, it's Kevin Rayburn. Welcome back to On The Rocks. And um, you know, uh, we're not doing this virtually anymore. We gave up on that. That didn't work out very well because Jody's neighbor with the lawnmower made a lot of noise. So <laughs> that was great. That was great. <laughs> we're, we're back here and we're drinking today. Uh, Hotel Tango, bourbon ready to drink. And I wanna first off uh, say cheers to all of you. I hope you've managed to stay safe through this pandemic. And um, we're coming down the home stretch. I tell my friends- So you think the pandemic's real? <laughs> I just wanna make a straight. Track. Okay, stay on track, sorry. Send your letters. <laughs> like I was saying, it's like <laughs> being in a tunnel and seeing the light and knowing that the light you're looking at is not the train coming at you anymore. And uh, each day that light gets a little bit brighter. I'm counting on it because I want to get back Amen. out shooting. Amen. Um, we've got an announcement later where you'll find that um, there's going to be good reason to get out to be shooting. Mary Jane and I were shooting went to some photography up in Wisconsin. We took our bicycles and we went in a one mile long tunnel, the first rail to trail in the country. Halfway through that tunnel, walking, we had to walk our bikes in the tunnel. I am not exaggerating. Halfway through that tunnel, forward or backward, the light at the end of the tunnel was the size of the end of your pinky. That's a little freaky. <laughs> That's a little segue. I'm sorry, I got off track. Go ahead. I apologize. And this is the way it's going to go. <laughs> The man that just spoke out of turn, Jody Grover from Robert's Camera, you all know him. And of course we have the famous Phil Gibson sitting over on the couch tonight. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about where we are in the photography industry today. Phil, you're in the camera store. You spent yeah. a lot of time, a month or so, without even being in the store. Tell us a little bit about how things went from there. Well, I mean, I was in the store. We couldn't have any customers in the store though. So it was, uh, we did a lot of curbside stuff. I mean, we were lucky in Indiana, we didn't shut all the way down. We were one of the essential places that were open, which was, which was great. I mean, a lot of people couldn't. So we were very, very fortunate. Um, but we did a lot of curbside stuff for a while and we were shipping stuff out the door like crazy. I mean, it was just insane. As far as mail order went, it was, a lot of stuff. Uh, we have to give credit to Meredith. Oh yeah. Uh, she was able yeah. to get us an uh, essential because we sell the gear required to do remote classes, remote yeah. doctor visits. We did that and so therefore we were, yeah, we were Supplying essential. gear to the media and so forth. That, I mean, that Meredith. really kept us alive. I mean, it really did. Retail was closed. People couldn't come into the store. So retail suffered a little bit. You know, there were a lot of people not traveling anywhere, which, Totally made sense, but I think wasn't the second quarter of last year the biggest quarter used photo or used department yeah, ever had that's in history. The thing. As far as retail went, sure we we were hurting, but used photo pro was making they were breaking records every month. It was it was crazy the amount of traffic that that's I our mean, used uh, department. Yeah, yeah, they were shipping stuff out the back door. Our warehouse guys were just slammed like it was Christmas <laughs> you say every you day. Out the back door, you make it sound like it was like illegal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But it, it was crazy. So, I mean, we've been really lucky. We really have. And, and retail has come back now. Uh, we're in February. We're up like 30% in February. It's, really? it's amazing. Yeah. And, and I mean, camera companies are starting to ship gear. Canon's starting to ship stuff, which is huge. Um, and people are ready to buy. So it's, it's been phenomenal. Well, it I really know has. People are ready to buy. I think coming out of this pandemic, when, yeah. like, say December, finally everybody herd immunity or whatever it's going to be used as that key word. Yeah. I think the world's going to go crazy. Yeah. I think you know. Yeah, I, but even during the pandemic, what were people going to do? They're cooped up at home. They're going to shoot. They're going to. They're going to shoot wildlife stuff. They're going to get long glass. We sold so much long glass. You know. Yeah. People are so sick of looking at squirrels. 
birds on Instagram and Facebook yeah. now. But but that's what everybody's doing because yeah. what else are you going to do? No, I've resorted yeah. to my cat's a dog now. So yeah. it's like, God, let me loose. I need a walrus or a whale, for God's sakes, you know? But I, literally, I thought because of the pandemic, there were going to be a lot of photographers, like wedding and portrait photographers, that weren't going to be able to make it because obviously weddings and well, for those kind of things a are while, happening. Well, they and, were suffering hard. I mean, and it's they, going they to, really I thought were. it would hurt the, the yeah. camera sales. Yeah. Camera sales did not hurt. We got new customers. We got people that hadn't isn't shot that a, before. Isn't that amazing? You know? it re- yeah. The business people rose to the top. Those that said, okay, I need to survive. What do I have to do here? to successfully, you know, there was, correct me if I'm wrong, there was a glutton of people getting into, for instance, portrait photography. And now it took people who really had a sense of uh, entrepreneurship to say, okay, how do I survive in this? How do I, you know, I have a great customer, wonderful man who did, I don't know, 200,000 Santa pictures last December. I mean, if you know what you're doing and you rise to the occasion, and that kept us, that kept yeah, us going. Yeah. Well, so you you've gotten through the spot where the store was closed, and you come through what we call the period of first reopening. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember coming in the day you basically opened the public again, and there's plastic shields all over the place. There's buckets, so like if you touch a if camera, you go into the store, Jeff. Moore will tell you all about the story of the plastic shields. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, we should we should Sorry, have Jeff, Jeff come over here. And give a, so what's the what's the, the Jeff Moore story? I'm not you? telling. You. <laughs> no way. But so there's plastic shields everywhere, and like you know, if you want to talk mm-hmm. to Phil, you got to stand in front of a plastic shield. Come over here, Kelly. Oh wait, uh, wait. So so we have two plastic shields at the front of the store, right in front of each register. First customer walks up, goes in walks between, up, them. stands right in between, them. <laughs> and then pulls the mask down if they even have one. You know, yeah, it was because no one knew what they were doing. I mean, no one knew. And I remember you telling me, "Here's a bucket." So like, if you touch this camera, yeah, I got to put it in a bucket. And then we got to clean it. Yeah. So uh, is that still going on? It, yeah, yeah, you know, it is. So you're following. We're all still these. doing it. Oh yeah, yeah. And I mean, we'll still do curbside, but I mean, people aren't doing that. People are coming to the store, but we'll certainly offer that if, you know, if people don't feel safe, which I understand even now, I mean, I can understand it, but it's not, it's not been an issue for us. People come in. So really, I was thinking, you know, we were going to sit here and and find out there's doom and gloom out there, but there isn't. I think, well, you know, there are for a lot of stores, a lot of camera stores closed this year. I mean, they're in 2020. And I, and I think, you know, we have great ownership that got us online early and really worked at that. A proper worked, one. Worked at making the Meredith, online. Yeah, I mean, you. yeah, uh, for sure. You, yeah, you are you. amazing yeah. person. Yeah. yeah, thank you for letting I mean, me have these guys. Still. It's uh, That makes the difference. The people that survived were online, had a presence online to begin with, and just exploited that, and, and it really worked. And stores that weren't online, they a lot of them didn't make it. You know, and I want to say that my team... I expected to have the worst show at Roberts because we deal with the pros. Right. And we were 10% down for the year, February to February. 10% down in the worst pandemic since 19 aughts. Pretty damn good. Yeah. I'm I mean, very I, proud I, of my team. It is amazing what we accomplished. Along the way, during the last year, you know, Canon's come out of their, their shell and they've released a lot of new gear. But well, where do we stand? Mirrorless DSLR. Is DSLR gone? We're, it's, we're... It's, it's been pretty dead, I really? will say. Yeah. yeah so... it, it, and again, I can only speak for our customers, for Roberts, but it's really kind of died. I mean, I, it's been dead for a while and it's it's getting worse for the SLR end of things. I mean, it, it, everyone that comes in the store wants a mirrorless camera. I mean, that's, that's just what it is. I mean, yeah, if you don't, he asks him to leave. <laughs> <laughs> no mask, no DSLR. <laughs> you have on the wick, the window, no DSLR, and no, no but, mask. But I mean, seriously, though, other than a T850 that'll never die, it's like the most popular SLR that's ever been made. It's just, DSLRs just don't. There's ta- probably not going to be a new 850, is there? I don't know why there would be. How many times point. have I said this on On the Rocks? Technology doesn't stop. It keeps going forward. There's just, yeah, we sell more film than any company in the country. And it's fun. And it's gonna be around forever. And DSLRs are gonna be around forever. But they're gonna be fun. They're gonna be. It's not to get a job done. Yeah. So what are your predictions? There's a lot of talk about Nikon having major problems and 
that their financials I mean, are good. I'll Can be honest, it, it doesn't look good with Nikon. No. I mean, they can't ship anything. Well, I mean, that's it's... what I thought. Then Abracadabra, they announced this new chip. Yeah. Yeah, but that's great. Yeah, but what's but that it's a mean? Weird chip. I mean, well, we are, it, it, not that that chip's going to cause the change in their in their in, yeah. in everything. This chip, but it means that they have a R and D that's doing this. Yeah. They're investing money in this. That's true. And I mean, Canon is shipping, which is nice. They're actually shipping gear, and and they have been. Nikon is just, I don't know how they survived the fourth quarter. I mean, I don't know what the deal is. It's just weird. We just, we don't see anything from them. They're in they, any level. They desperately need a professional camera. Yeah. But, but, but it's not just that. Even, you know, usually every year at Christmas time, you sell a bunch of D3400s or 3500. You know, they couldn't ship any of that stuff. They, they had nothing to sell at Christmas, which was really bizarre. But Canon came out of nowhere with a whole slew of things. I mean, all the yeah. things they got criticized on. And it's been huge. They've really turned things around. And they've they come they out really with a lot of mirrorless lenses. Yeah. I mean, they're basically yeah. a mirrorless camera company. As far as I'm concerned, yeah. until the A1 was announced, I thought Canon had stepped in front of Sony. Yeah. Because they have the larger yeah. mount that well, puts price them point, ahead, the larger mount. I think they still have. Maybe but price they don't have an A1. True. They the A1, the A1 is, is going to be well, this a is, this is They an will have an A1 because yeah. the Olympics are coming. I can't it's wait Canon. to see what it's going to be. Canon is going to announce really cool. the, the R1, and it's going to be... Do you have to give Sony credit? I mean, you know, here's a company started as Minolta, you know, basically the remnants of Minolta. Sony takes them over. They're a consumer electronics, Sony's Walkman, ass, yeah. you know, kind of company. They they had a plan all along, and they were patient. More they having a CEO who's passionate about photography, I think, makes a difference. And he too. is passionate. I mean, yeah. I've been in a number of the, you know, press conferences with him, and I've had a chance to speak with him. And you know, he he is quite yeah. adamant about you know making he cameras is. for him yeah. and us, yeah. you know, the people at, at Sony, and um, you know everything up to the like the A seven R four was a major advancement with. No you know, doubt. megapixel wise and capability wise, especially with the G Master lenses, which they keep continually putting out, the 100 to 400, 200 to 600, and of course, if you can afford the 400 to you know, 600. You know what cracks me up? What? So they come out with the A1. It does what an R5 and a 1DX Mark III does. It does what an A7 R4 and a 9.2 does. And it costs what the flagship camera of Nikon costs and what the flagship camera of camera costs of not Canon costs. But oh my God, how dare they charge that much for this camera? It's hilarious. People it's, complain it's, about the price. It it's the exact up. same price, yeah. to the dollar, the same price as what all Nikon the other flagship and cameras. And they, for years. they knew what they for were years. doing. And yeah. it's better than those cameras. And yeah. I've ordered one. I mean, I, I'm yeah. waiting for another And he ordered it for me. It is funny I, to I, uh, see the SLR guys. <laughs> <laughs> his last big sale. <laughs> my last sale. <laughs> Felt sorry for you. You needed, you it needed, is so you needed, funny. You needed a kick going out the door. <laughs> it is so funny though to see the SLR guys <laughs> on the A. The, oh yeah, the yeah. Alpha. John just, is so funny. Well, Don't I mean, use his last name. It, John's so <laughs> John's so funny. It's not just John, but yeah, it's just funny how they're like, well, it's not a D6 or it's not. Well, I love you, John. It's not a 1D Mark, whatever. It's like, yeah, this thing's much well, faster. One thing I really like about Sony right now, which I wish my dear friends at Canon would do something about, but I've talked to them to I'm blue in the face, is maybe it's because Bill Pekela is advising Sony, but they now have a Sony professional services priority allocation system, as Nikon. Nikon's always had the best. Nikon was the best at that, still is the best. But now Sony has a similar system, and for some reason, Canon can't manage to help their working pros. But then let's talk about Fuji for a minute. Fuji steps into the picture. Yeah. And they've got a... a Look at the medium format camera that is like, you know, six grand that does stuff that you would not you would never even think of. I, mean, I think that's, that's a, a bigger story than the Alpha 1, honestly. I think in, in some yeah. ways it is. Yeah. And, it's, and yeah. it's, you know, they had the GFX 100, which is a fairly good sized camera, but nothing compared to Hasselblad and Phase 1 and yeah. some of the other guys out there. You know, kind of awkward and plasticky. I mean, there's a lot of things about it that we could be critical about, but you know, it had image stabilization and they had right. a good set of lenses and you could hand hold it at eighth of a second and really uh, come out with a good picture at 100 megapixels. Mm -hmm. And you know, but then- the price of the 100S. Oh, that no, was what the did you, wouldn't you be the upset price. That if yeah. you bought the 100S and you'd already owned the GFX 100 and you, you know, now you got a camera with more features at, at $4,000 yeah. probably yeah. less. Yeah, and that's the- That's, that's the, a, that's a, 
It's a hard decision to make in a boardroom. But it's that's a hard decision, yeah, but it's but genius. But I mean, that's it's, the nature of who this else has this thing like it? Nobody does. Wait, it's not that new. Who was our rep for, you weren't there yet. Kodak Digital, one of their cameras, I forget which one it was, was $25,000. Yeah. $25,000. No, I, I was eight megapixel. there. Pixel. <laughs> so we bought, a customer bought one. Price protection was 30 days. 32 days after this guy bought one, they dropped the price to $12,000. The guy called up and says, hey, I'm losing my ass. I called Kodak and they go, I'm sorry, we don't change the date. The guy lost 50% of the value. Of that happened a lot in the industry. But Media you know what? Especially but you know what? Americans, it yeah. doesn't make the guy's 100 any less valuable of a camera. No. It still does everything it was right. going to do. Right. But you a lot of people. You, you feel it in the pocketbook, though. Yeah. No, you don't actually feel it because you have uh, your camera, you've uh, bought your camera. It depends on what you're doing. <laughs> you know, yes. it's, it's, it's just virtual money because you uh, already bought your virtu 100, right? You virtually lost is your this, ass. Is this how you do things no, with wait, a, wait, virtual wait. You can see a sales pitch. <laughs> don't worry. It's virtual but, money. Yeah, you did spend more than you would have in the future if you waited a half a year, but your camera isn't less valuable. No, it actually. Isn't less not valuable. It isn't less competent. Probably why your used department is doing so well. Your 100 so still many works good cameras great. out yeah, there. There are, there are. We so uh, a guy wants to trade in a 50s today for a 100s. So I talked to Bruce, and Bruce goes, "Well, knew they're about the same price, Joey. This is all we can do." It's like it's tough. It was a tough decision today to figure out yeah. what to do, but there's nothing you can do. Well, Industry changes so fast. That's the na that's the nature of I mean, the game. So you know, you've got the Sony's, you have got the Fuji's. I mean, that's it's a pretty exciting time to be in photography, and we're not even talking software this this time. Holy yeah. cow, we can get really mucked up in, in that, especially because it would confuse the <laughs> you. But <laughs> I think that I think all the companies though are missing the entry level or the the medium level. I mean, they've just kind of let it go, and and I mean. Everyone talks about the iPhone and the you know Android phones are so great and everything. Yeah, it also gets people interested in photography, and then they they don't want to spend two grand, but they'd spend a grand, you know, like, if you had like, a good kit. And it's just, there's it doesn't really exist. Canon you know, needs an know? APS-C R. Yeah, that's twelve hundred dollars. Right. right. Yeah, I mean, well, they've got the high end covered I mean, really well. You put well. that APS-C R. Yeah. Because the, the M series the stuff, they don't have any glass for it. It doesn't make any sense. You yeah. got a seven fifty seven point one. Right. You you know it's. The, you're right. They haven't. They don't have. It. It, it's just weird. It seems like they haven't. I mean, I, I don't know what these companies are thinking, but it just just doesn't seem like they're catering to that level at all. They've got and the high end. Cover. No, and I think they they they're, they're very. Is. They learned. <laughs> well, then they're not shipping anything. <laughs> they learned a lesson about point and shoot, and the question well, really is how, how far up the the price scale is point and shoot going, and so they 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 know what is selling now, yeah. and. You know, I know guys that have traded in their Leica systems and shoot with iPhones. They come on my workshop and I yeah. say, where's your camera gear? Right here, two, I got two iPhones. Yeah. And I, I can shoot just as any, everything I want to. And you know what? They really do a good job. And the point is... And they pay you the same amount of money for uh, the camera. For, for the, work, yeah, yeah, <laughs> the workshop. But they're the smart ones. They, can, you know, they bring extra clothes or something, you know, because yeah, there is a weight limit. Do you know Rob Clark, New York shooter? Yeah, I think so. If it's the same one. A camera manufacturer, a phone manufacturer, I don't think they're in business anymore. Kodak? Oh my God, it must have been. <laughs> That's too easy. Phone manufacturer, it must have been 10, 15 years ago, hired him to travel over. He said, you want to do a project? Sure, what do you want to do? I want, and he said, uh, he wants to visit all, to himself. I want to visit my family. So he said, I'll do this route. And he took his phone and he made, I have the book at home. He made a coffee table book of all shots from his phone a good 15 years ago. But the point is, a camera is a camera, and you know, to yeah, me, I always want to have a camera with me. And one of the great things about, you know, the phone, especially you know, the new iPhone 12 Max Pro, with all its capabilities, I've got a camera with me with some telephoto with a wide angle and especially night mode. Yeah. I mean, it shoots pictures in the dark practically. Yeah. So you know, those kind of capabilities, you know, to Does have. Does Deborah know you're shooting pictures in the dark? <laughs> 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 ah, but anyway, that's those are ones that go off the cloud pretty quick. <laughs> anyway, it's a fun time to be in photography, and we we have a guest coming in next, and we're going to talk a little bit about where Olympus is. But before we do that, and we could talk this industry thing. He's really good at that. That <laughs> me up completely. <laughs> You're like, where's the guest? <laughs> <laughs> now I got it. it. Took me a while. What? Where? Catching up. Well, 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> One of the cool bits of news uh, that come out recently is the fact that Olympus is not dead. And all of us have heard the news about Olympus being sold to this uh, new company. Neither is Hoffa. <laughs> Hoffa, Hoffa's still alive? Yeah. They just um, can't find him. He's, he's 110. <laughs> I watched the movie, they found him. <laughs> and so a lot of people are very worried, like, okay, is uh, Olympus just going to go away like another camera company after they were taken over by this company? And uh, sitting here with me tonight is uh, Peter Bick. And Peter is an Olympus fan, but yep. more than anything else, we, we invited him here for his lens. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But uh, tell us, Peter, what do, what do you know about where Olympus is these days and what's going on? They've been bought by... JIP. Which is Japan... Uh, industrial partners or some partners. such thing. Yeah, it's a venture capital <laughs> company that they bought the uh, imaging division of Olympus, and they and the pro audio division. Yeah, that's which right. Actually, was one that was making money. Yep. And, and, and so and they've taken it over. And a lot of a lot of companies, Sony included, for example, you know, sell off parts of their company, and this company has bought numerous companies, and sometimes they go places, and sometimes they don't. Well, the good news is here, and I think you guys will agree, is that. We love Olympus, and we love what that camera is all about. And really, uh, it's micro four thirds, but it 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 behaves like a big boy camera. I mean, its its capabilities are extremely incredible. The focus, autofocus, tracking, and some of the other features uh, that it has. Um, uh, there's just a whole slew of, of things inside this small camera. Now, I go back to the old Olympus days back in when the OM1 came out, which was you know the film camera, and I got rid of my Nikon. I remember you had a a mono a tripod ball head on your horse and buggy buggy. <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember that. that. Yeah. Right next to the buggy whip. I remember that. My, yeah. my Amish buggy. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, Peter's here today because the long awaited, and, and this is something that we could keeping away from Jody because kind of afraid of, you know, definitely have to be wiped down with Clorox wipes after this is Yep. Uh, the infamous, what is it, the 150 to 400? Hopefully, 150 400. hopefully yep. it's my retirement gift from the store. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the hope. <laughs> That's pretty good. I think you're going to find the lower, <laughs> upper, lower, upper, lower class. It's, it's not going to happen. He was good, but he wasn't that good. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> we can give him one of those little lens models or the spec <laughs> Give but in any case, this lens is pretty incredible. First off, it's around $7,000, yep. but it's a 300 to 800 millimeter full frame equivalent reach. And you yeah, guys well, sell this four, if five, you wanted this lens. At 4.5, flip a switch, right it's there. a 1,000.56. Because it's got an extender built in. Built in. Yep. And it weighs nothing. Right yeah, there. So show, show it off, Peter, a little bit. Tell me. Uh, yep. Uh, so that's, that's the lens. And it doesn't, the first thing you impresses you is when you pick it up, it doesn't weigh anything. You can handhold this thing. I have and shot birds and shot uh, sporting events with it. It's got all the basic switches that everybody's seen in the in the reviews. Uh, on the X, how many stops of image stabilization does it have? Uh, between five and seven. <laughs> yeah. I, I shot a, a possum <laughs> last night through the windows at ISO 10,000, the 40th of a second. And yeah, it's, it's grainy and it's horrible, but I have a shot of, yeah. of, uh, of this but critter. But there's Topaz. There right. is. I, I used it. I used it. And it's it's a reasonable shot. You can tell what it is. It's it's okay. I wouldn't publish it. Do you get paid by Topaz? Is that why? <laughs> Actually, yeah. It might be an affiliate. <laughs> <laughs> it is good stuff, though. Yeah, it is. Oh, very good I, stuff. Yeah, stuff. Well, why don't you pass it to Jody? Because he's sure. looking at it. Oh, no. He yeah, just he, needs to hold on to it. He's lusting for it. He wants to hold yeah. it while you're here. <laughs> while, while, while we're recording this, Mary Jane sent me a text on my phone. It said, I want one. <laughs> yeah, she wants it, but will you be who's able to Who's the better shooter in our household? So she's <laughs> the one that deserves it. Now, this is really interesting. You can see Kevin, right? I have Kevin in focus. This close. Hmm. Now, you can set is the range for focus. There's a focus range. Yeah, just on focus range limiter, and you can also set a focus distance on the buttons on the lens. And is there a, a tracking method, like a one, two, three, like we see on some of the lenses where you're going to do vertical tracking or in scene? That's know, in the body. Body? It's in the body. It's in so. the body, yeah, not the lens. One of the things that I think people need to pay attention to 
is that it's just the feature set on this Olympus camera, it's the OMD, and they've got a couple different ones out there. I've always been very confused by OMD 5, 2s, and you know, their, nomen their yeah. nomenclature is, is leaves a lot to be uh, desired. Um, and I would probably be getting out of the camera sales business because I would have flubbed it up enough. Well, that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's, yeah. it's quite a piece of equipment, and... Um, we're going to probably do more with this lens over time, but we just wanted to say that, you know, there are still advancements coming. Olympus is, is not gone. It's actually got some big things going. There's new announcements coming sometime soon. You can read about those on the site when they happen. But this is one heck of a piece of engineering. And, of course, we heard about it for a long time because I think every yep. On the Rocks... Yeah, for like Jody two Owen, years. Yeah, Jody's been <laughs> I mentioned... Would, I would try to get Olympus to give me one. I go, hey, by the way, where's my 150 to 400? They never did. They never and this probably still hasn't. I mean, here it See, is today, and it's not... I'm not, not as big, big deal as you said I was. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Apparently. <It's, laughs> yeah, you know, yep. Olympus is still around. Check it out, and uh, we'll put the links in the uh, story, uh, specifically this lens, and... Hopefully, we'll get in a way that we can test this lens out. And maybe Jody, in his afterlife, will actually do a review of this and lens for us. Thank you so much, Peter. Peter, thank oh, you for stopping by. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Hope that we maybe have you out shooting with us sometime. It'd be great. Yeah. yeah. What I'm about to say will explain <laughs> why <laughs> Jody is okay. the way he is. But um, with uh, great happiness and somewhat a bit of sadness. Um, as long as you pour me a drink, I'm not sad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jody will be leaving Roberts. Hopefully he won't be leaving on the rocks because we'd like to keep him around since it's our little program. I mean, what else but is he going to have to do? Jody did some math and um, decided his life expectancy was such that he better retire so he has a year to enjoy himself before he dies. <laughs> Phil calls him a quitter. <laughs> you know, it's only but, because, well, you know, just for people to get upset about that, anytime anyone quits Roberts, Jody immediately, it's quitter, a quitter, what's going a quitter, on, quitter, a quitter, Q, so quitter. I mean, that, that's, that's why it's so easy. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but anyway, Jody, you're going to have a good time. I think... Um, uh, I, I know you've justified it to me with, well, Mary Jane and I are going to spend a lot of time, and I'm going, really? That's what's going to happen? <laughs> she asked me to put a trapeze in over the bed. <laughs> take the iPhone off the cloud before you take pictures of that. But anyway, Jody will be retiring, and uh, he's done 30-plus years of service, and we'll have a special tribute on a, on a separate article and video. Uh, that'll be um, grand. <laughs> There's some pretty good stories, but... You know, he's a, kind of a legend in, in how he's treated people and what he's done and, yeah, you know, yeah, his experiences. Yeah. And we, we're going to miss you. Luckily, you'll still be around. I'll, we're going to do mall walks well, together. We only live three miles apart. <laughs> I know. it, But we'll go out shooting and, and do a little bit. And wouldn't it be fun, like, if you and I just went, went out and had a lunch and then just went in and pestered the shit out of Phil? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> a, a, a lunch with... Bourbon. Yeah. Anyway, we've had a heck of a lot of fun on this episode. We'll probably have to beep a few things out so we can Let's see how not much, get kicked ah, off of you. Let's see how much fun we've had. <laughs> okay. We're okay. doing pretty good. And we have a, one more episode we're going to try to record this evening um, if it goes well. Uh, but anyway, thanks so much for being part of Photo PXL. We learned a little bit about the industry. We got to see the new Olympus lens and hear a little bit about where Olympus is going. Uh, get a feel for a lot of things. It's actually positive. You know, we yeah. might be in this pandemic, and it was pretty dark for a while for a lot of us. I mean, I lost a father-in-law. My wife was very sick, and, you know, you just had no idea where it's this hard. whole thing was going to go. But, you know, the, I really feel hopeful and optimistic. I mean, I, not that I'm not an optimistic guy, but for a while there, I was in some deep kind of yeah. questioning spots, you know? Can I suggest a game to play with your viewers? Sure. The pers uh, We'll do a drawing of everyone that knows how many times Phil's worn that shirt on On The Rocks. <laughs> that way they go back and they view the, and then, and we'll give a prize. The, you give a prize, like a free yeah, trip to Antarctica to anyone who you. gets the number correctly. Okay, I'm glad you're not running my company. Something like that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks so much for being part of Photo PXL. I hope you don't mind a couple guys just having a little bit of fun talking cameras and doing a little drinking. It's what we're all about. Photography is a lot of fun. I really, it's my passion. It's what I live for. It's what I do. And uh, I hope you all have enjoyed it. I can't find better friends to do this with. And 
As always, we're working real hard to enhance your vision and thank you so much for being part of our family. Peace and love. Yeah, peace and love. Good one. Great one, Good man. Show. I can't wait to see how this one turns out. And me too. <laughs> Michael, Michael. A lot of for Michael. Oh, <laughs> I'm supposed to run Broad Ripple Magazine. I've got 10,000 fucking videos to add in. And now you assholes do this. <laughs>